Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. Let's get into I would it. like to show my gratitude to Stucky Mitsubishi of State College who helped me spend some time with this car. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check out their inventory. And this particular model is available for sale at Stucky Mitsubishi. As you can see, it's a 2024 Miss Mitsubishi Mirage G4 LE, which means the limited edition. And Under the hood, we have an actually aspirated 1.2 liter three cylinder that produces 78 horsepower and 74 pounds feet of torque that goes to a CVT automatic. Now, when we come in the front end, we can see this three stars as the Mitsubishi logo with this small portion of the grill and blacked out portion down below. And then when we come to the right, we see this headlamps with the halogen turn indicator fog lamps and then the skid plate once you come onto the side it's not very modern it's uh, normal and then when you come down below these are its alloy wheels and the section of them is the section is 175 55 r15 you can look at it and these alloy wheels look relatively simple but they look nice in the car then we have the indicator on the fender and And these are simplistic door handles, simple door handles. Then you can see it gets 35 miles per gallon in the city, 41 miles per gallon on the highway. With all this standard features there like halogen headlamps. And then these are the warranty. And then there's a welcome package included. So this car costs a total of $19,555 with destination. Yes, if you were wondering the cars at this price point still exist and stick around to the end of the video if you want to see um, my final verdict and if i would recommend this or not and now when we could come at the back end we see this back bumper with this led tail lamps new style with the turn indicator backlight then we have the backup camera down here and then we have this spoiler lip that has come being raised from the bonnet which looks pretty good and then Mitsubishi Mirage G4 badging this is the limited edition variant and then the other tail lamp now let's get into the vehicle we are moving on to the features now now as I come into the vehicle, we see since it's a very basic model and it costs less than 20,000, it costs around like 21,000 on road with all the taxes and fees. So that's why you won't see any soft touch over here. It's all hard plastic material over here. And then this door handle is blacked out. Then we have more hard plastic, more hard plastic with a grab handle and then we have the power windows power windows this is the top down power window and then those are our mirrors and then we have the child lock we have the lock and lock function then over here we have the mirror adjustments and then as you can see these are our ac vents a little old style but it's fine and then we have the steering which is like hard steering it's not leather wrapped and then but we have cruise control have you ever seen a car in a 20,000 that has a cruise control it's my first car that i have seen and then this is to pick the calls voice command and then it change the track modes and then this is our steering wheel with the mitsubishi logo it's a three spoke steering wheel pretty basic and then when we come over here these are our indicators and our light stocks these are our indicators and our light stocks and then over here we have our wiper stock and then down here we have storage space 12 volt socket cup holders and we have a cvt automatic transmission and as you come on the side we have an armrest but no center console but we have one cup holder which i'll come to in a moment and then we have this manual handbrake since it's pretty basic base model then over here these are our middle ac vents with this and then this is our hazard lights and then this is our pretty cute small truck 7 inch touch screen which has it has this physical buttons for the volume the home button and then we have this pretty responsive touch screen and it's seven it's seven inches in size and then when we come at the key 
when we come at the key you can see it's a pretty basic key for a twenty thousand dollar car so since it has the normal key ignition it doesn't have uh, the push button starts so we get a lock unlock and then to start the key we get lock unlock yeah so we get the lock unlock and then the key over here and then this is our instrument cluster it's all analog since it's a twenty thousand dollar car so we have the rpm meter over here then we have the speedometer and then we have all the lane assist functions and then the all the lights would go up there and then this is our ac control panel this is to increase the temperature increase decrease the temperature this is for the fan speed then we have the automatic function we have the defoggers and then we have the internal circulation and then yes the gear shift is quite small and then when we come over here we can see we have storage space down there now when i come to the other end of the door for the passenger when i come to the passengers the other passenger seat you can see the door panel over here it's made of the same composition hard plastic more hard plastic and more hard plastic and then these are its power windows and then the lock and lock with storage space cup holders down there ac vent and then we have an airbag over here and then this is our glove box which is pretty storage space and yeah we can easily stretch our legs over. now let me show you the back if i fit or not now when we open the door you can see hard plastic again at the back trim black door handles and then we have a speaker down there with just this grab handle and a power button no storage space down there but yeah we have a cup holder down there now as per my height you can see i have a decent amount of headroom and and i have a lot of knee room so it's pretty comfortable in the back seat the back seat is pretty comfortable so there's enough leg room and enough headroom we do have a center armrest at the back with two cup holders and it kind of rests on the seat and then three people can sit on it and the seats are cloth but they are quite comfortable and we can pull this down we can pull this down and it goes entry into the boot over here down below we have the uh, fuel tank opener and the boot opener now i can show you the boot from the inside that opens from up front and we just put it up and see it's a pretty massive boot for a subcompact sedan and yeah and then down here we would have a spare tire yeah we have a spare tire and we have a pretty big boot and yeah that's close and uh, i pretty i like the tail light design a lot and now when we come back in then if we have to adjust the seat yeah it's a manually adjustable seat and then we have the okay it's reclinable and then we have the yeah we have high, we have lumbar support in this here's a manual handbrake and when we come over here you can see we have a manually adjustable day night rvm we have these sun shades with the mirror same for the driver as well but yeah these are flimsy so since it's a twenty thousand dollar car so i wouldn't say the materials are you can say the materials are slightly scratchable and then the material quality is a little low level to keep the price low for it as you can see like i have never seen these thin uh sun blinds but we ha do have a small cute light over here so yeah it's a pretty basic car not too fancy but it has a grab handle here now as you can see this is our massive size orvm it's pretty big for a twenty thousand dollar car and then it's body colored we have this gorgeous silver color over here and then we have the turn indicator on the fender this is the windshield with the windshield wipers over here and you can probably hear the engine noise because it's a three cylinder but yeah the headlamps are gonna be halogen but the tail lamps are led which is nice and the spoiler looks good and now for the final verdict what i was saying this car is cheap affordable but 
it i would only recommend this to those people who are either in who are high school students are older than 16 or who are in college and who don't have much driving on the highway it's basically meant for city purposes because it has 78 horsepower so it would struggle to reach up more than 60 miles per hour so it's safe to drive it in city and not on the highway and yeah one more thing since i don't since you saw the sun visor and the materials inside is like okay okay built so i wouldn't recommend on the highway but if you are going on the city i would recommend this for sure just to keep in safety in mind that's why i'm saying city because i don't know much about its build quality the way its interiors are made i would say it's not uh, made it's not built strong as of like other cars that are higher in price and from the back the cabin looks like this otherwise like they have given all the latest features with the back camera and everything in it and yeah the horsepower is less so that's one of the disadvantages i found and one more thing is its quality but it does have a simplistic interior let's see it's yeah so this is its back camera i don't know how you will see it yeah this is its back camera not high quality it's not hd like the other cars on my channel if you see my other cars you'll come to know it's not that hd quality it's a pretty basic and i would say low quality backup camera because i if you see on the screen then you can see it unless if there might be a way to increase its brightness it's a pretty dim yeah now you can see the back camera so it's all of that wouldn't yeah wouldn't recommend taking it out on long trips or on the highway let me show you the hazard lights of this how does it look so yeah this is its turn indicator halogen and then the hazard lights in front of the turn indicator halogen halogen headlamps but it's led at the back they could have given all led but this bulb is halogen only i don't know why they give this led in the front they gave halogen so now i come with the final verdict so it's good and affordable for those who are not on highway but if you are if you are someone old and like to go on road trips and want a little more a strongly built car and a little more car that could go on the highway then i wouldn't recommend this for you guys but overall like for beginners i would say it's a it's a nicely built car with simplistic exteriors and minimalistic interiors it's not too techy or not too much features it has a 7 inch touch screen and i would like if you enjoyed my video hit that like button hit that subscribe button share and comment down below if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing my channel because i post content every week and your support is needed for me to bring more content thank you so much for giving your valuable time i'm going to see you guys in the next one